All right, welcome back to part two of playing Waymaker. We're going to start spicing it up a little bit, showing you how you can start playing some little rhythm, adding a little melody uh, to Waymaker. Now, there's probably hundreds of ways that you can do that, but I'm going to show you some simple ways of adding melody, still using the same chords that we have listed on our lead sheet and chords that, chords that you already know. So let's start once again at our first um, note here. And we're, we're actually going to start back with this time. We're going to start with our, uh, our pickup note or our passing chord, our C over G. Now, we notice that we're playing C over G this way. Now, we can add melody by staying a column like within that zone of the chords we're playing by just adding a arpeggio, a seesaw, maybe uh, something. Any of those type of things are simply rhythm already. So if you play your first passing chord, play the C in your right hand and the an E in your left hand, how about you just play an arpeggio in your right hand? Let's see how that sounds. All right? And play the E when you play the C and hold the E in your left hand. Ready, play. And then we go to our F, which is our next chord. So let's play it again. Ready, play. Arpeggio, F chord. All right, let's do it again a little faster. One, two, three, four. That's the beginning of the song. We just added a little melody already just by playing the same chords, but instead of playing them, all together in unison, we broke it up and played an arpeggio behind it. So there is power. And then I can just start playing rhythm right here. So let's do that much. Two, three. Oh, there is power. To my next chord, C, a G. All right. One more time. One two three oh, there is power in the name to see all right one more time i'm gonna give you the pickup note remember you had that passing chord so i can't wait till four when i hit or till i can't say one two three four and then go you have to have that pickup note ready one two three Arpeggio, F, to my C, and C. What's our next chord? G, I worship you. So that's one way we can start adding rhythm by doing a pickup note and just playing the rhythm and letting maybe the singer, whoever, uh, lead the song. Now, another way we can do it is maybe we want to play more melody or lead with the piano so we can do the same thing we can play our pickup note and hold it so now we're just playing melody using the notes we already have which are to top note in the name of jesus so all we're doing is so there is power play your pinky twice pinky pinky of Jesus to C, all right? So the pinky playing the actual F chord, the note that's leading the song is actually in the F chord. It's our top note, and that's why we're doing um, an F in the middle instead of the, the root position, F on bottom, because it just wouldn't sound as in unison if I would've played, so there, so there is power. pinky there now i can still play in the name of, of jesus i can still play it that way but it just sounds better going from the f middle f in the middle on this song to the uh, bottom using our pinky as the melody all right so let's try this all again doing the beginning pickup note arpeggio to our f and then playing the pinky alongside the melody so it's one two three oh, there 
Piki and the name, and then we'll go to a G. Uh, geez, I forgot that part. I'm sorry. So we go in the name, and then hit the G one time before you hit the C chord, which is the G is in your C chord. So I'm not taking you to play any other notes that aren't in the chords that you're already playing or the chord that you're about to play, if that makes sense. So once again, from the top, one, two, three. There is power, pinky twice, and the name G once of the C, to the C chord. All right. Now, what's our next chord from here? We go to a G chord. So what I can do here, or what I'm going to do is actually play one note from my C chord that I already have, which is my C. I'm going to do the C saw. Remember this? So we're going to incorporate now the C saw. I, the C saw one time, and then that's going to take me to my G chord. So there, oh, there is power in the name of Jesus. Come on, see, see, saw. I worship with you. Now, even with that C saw, remember there's a D in this G chord right here. So I could, I could actually go from my C saw, C saw, and actually play a D right before my G chord. So it'd be like, I worship you. Does that make sense? Oh, there is power. Two times pinky in the name of uh, Jesus. C, I'm sorry. Seesaw, I worship you to the G. One more time since I messed up. All right, one, two, three. We just have one more chord which is our A our A minor all right let me just pull this up so so far we've covered we've covered our C over G C over E which is the arpeggio then we went to our F which we know uh, we have the two notes on our pinky, and then we did our C with the seesaw. I'll just do a little seesaw right there. And then our G, and we have this one note right down here. All right, I just want to write that out just in case anybody is mixed up of where we are uh, in the song. All right, so how do we get now to our A? So if we start again, one, y'all can play it with me. Let's play it together. One, two, three. Oh, there is power in the name of Jesus. See, saw I worship you. And now we're going to do, we're going to go to our A minor, which is right here. We're just going to play the chords, the two notes that are in our A minor, which is C and E. We're just going to play these two notes. So not the whole C saw one and five. We're going to play one and three. And remember how we play this inversion? We play it with our first finger, our second finger, and our fifth finger. So those are the notes we're going to use to play the melody. All right. So we're going to go so coming off of that uh, G. Where's up you two times uh the i mean our our first finger and our second finger i worship you so so c e c and then a chord and guys that's the whole entire song all right so let's try to break it down one more time from the top together real slow one two three 
two, three. There is our pinky in the name of Jesus. Seesaw, our And then the two notes before A, our And then we repeat. So I worship. And you have that C and E. And let's repeat a little faster. One, two, three. So you start to see how we can start incorporating these same chords that we've been playing for quite some time, right? The C chord, our, our F chord, I mean our, our F chord, C chord, uh, G chord, A chord. But instead of just playing it straight, which you can, we're starting to add a little bit more melody by playing single notes within the chords that we're already playing, guys. And if you're getting this, and if you haven't got it, don't worry, you're already almost there because it's not much to learn remember there's only four major principles that i teach to, pl to play the piano it's muscle memory it's chords it's rhythms and progression and once you understand those principles you'll be well on your way to playing as many songs as you want to play all right so great job today keep practicing uh let's meet in our next video for the action plan